TV. I'm Eddie Ed, back with another reaction video, and today, I'm doing a funny one that I think is funny. I seen a little bit of it yesterday, it just had me just laughing, because it's so ridiculous. This video is titled, um, Sign Language Interpreter Criticized for Police Press Conference. Wait, criticized? Basically, she is doing fake sign language, and I actually know that she's doing fake sign language, because... I took ASL back in the day, and she's doing BS, bro. She's not doing anything. Like, she literally did this. Like, she does not know sign language. It's clear. And for those of you who have taken sign language or know sign language, you will see exactly what I see. Uh, but let's hop straight into it. Oh, before we hop on into it, make sure you subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell if you're not subscribed or if you subscribe already. And also, drop a like on this video. I, I think I probably said that already. Um, <laughs> and share. Share this video, man. And also, follow me on Instagram. Eddie Ed TV on Instagram. Follow me there. And we can get it rocking over there. And some giveaways and some stuff are going to be handed over there as well. So, go over there and follow that page. I just started that page. So, it's kind of low right now. So, go over there and, and, and let's get it popping over there. But, yeah, let's hop straight into the video. Eddie Ed TV. Bow. As you recall, on October 9th, Benjamin Mitchell was 22 years old. Hold up. <laughs> that's, the, that's the lady right there. Let's go back because she literally was like, bro, I, don't, I can't even move my... Bro, sh watch this. Let's go back. As you recall, on October 9th, Benjamin Mitchell was 22 years old and he was murdered. That was 51 days ago. Bro, what is she doing? She almost said BS. Like she was like this. And, and you know, this is B BS for uh for in line in, in sign language. Like she she literally almost did that. Like she was like, what is On October eleventh, two days later, thirty two year old Monica Hoffa was murdered. Eight days later, on October nineteenth, Anthony Naiboa murdered. Twenty six days later, on November 14th, just two weeks ago, 60-year-old Ronald Felton was murdered. Bro, what is what is this? What is... What the heck is she... It's so... F we received over 5,000 tips in this case. I am pleased to announce that tonight we will be making an arrest... And she did happy. ...Seminole Heights murders. Our detectives are currently working... On the charging documents, and we will be charging four counts of first-degree murder for How Emmanuel Donaldson the third, 24 years old. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I will not have the answers that you are going to want. This is an ongoing situation. Yo, wait, what was that one? Like, did she need, like kiss, bro? What is she? The answers that you are going to want. This is an ongoing situation. We responded out to um, the area uh, about 2.30 this afternoon. We received some information about Mr. Donaldson having a firearm at the McDonald's. One of uh, his co-workers approached a police officer. That is what led us to that. Through our investigation, several hours later, we will be charging Donaldson, like I said, with four counts of first degree murder. I would like hey, to but hey, I'm I'm gonna I'm tell you what though, even though she's <laughs> even though this is BS, bro, she's consistent. She's definitely consistent, man. But she's doing the same things. She, like, like that's how that that's one sign. Like she's doing the same like this this thing right here. I seen her do that four times already. Um, she's doing a lot of the same things. So it's like. He's not saying the same words. Yesterday he said probably like two, three times. So this one that she was doing is consistent. That's why I say she's consistent. But still, like some of the other ones, she's just throwing in there again because she don't know what 
he had a sign. It's clear. Uh, I, I think when, when, when I found out there was a gun, that, uh, and when I, we looked at his description, it gave us a little more than what we've ever really had. We've run down some guns before, run in some other things. It just felt right. I kind of had a feeling that we were going to get a break. You know, every day we would meet as a group, and we would say, what day is it? And today was day 51. And we discussed yesterday, I said, we're going we're gonna to get a break this week. I was trying to be optimistic. I, can, I have a tendency to be, uh, my glass is half empty sometimes. And so I wanted to kind of pump everybody up. And, and for whatever reasons, we got a break. Somebody stepped up and did the right thing. And that, that's what we needed. We had said all along that no tip is too small. And somebody stepped forward. Hey, she's doing a good job, bro. Like, like <laughs> this, this fakery. It is is pretty crisp. I'm not gonna lie. Like she's 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 been fluent at least, at least. Gave us what we needed. Uh, unfortunately, I we knew by coming out here tonight that we would probably create a lot more questions. But the real goal is to let the people of Seminole Heights be able to get a good night's sleep. It's been 51 days that they've been terrorized in their neighborhood, and it is about letting these families know that we're going to bring this person to justice and letting this neighborhood get some rest and hopefully try and put their lives back together. Um, yes, I talked to my... <laughs> you know, 51... Oh, look. Yes, I talked to my... <laughs> you know, 51 days ago, I said this was a struggle between good and evil. Well, tonight, goodness has won. Tonight, in the battle between darkness and light, light has won. It would not have happened without the amazing police work. I can't tell you, and I know I speak for the people of Seminole Heights, who stood up with us shoulder to shoulder, who never left during the tough times, who never quit on us, nor did they ever quit on the men and women of law enforcement. They had our backs and we had theirs. We could not have done this without their support and the support of this entire community. Tonight is the beginning of when justice will be served. And then the process will occur when this individual rots in hell. <clears throat> Here we go. Fake sign language, man. But she did do a good job faking it. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I, I, if I saw her, like... On the side, I wouldn't even be paying it because nobody pays attention to that anyway. So she blends in perfectly. <clears throat> like you won't, you you wouldn't call her out. Well, I I wouldn't call her out because I don't pay attention to that stuff anyway. So if I didn't know that she was caught and I watched this, I probably probably wouldn't even notice her doing it because I'll be listening to what the guys are saying because it's the news. But since that she was called out on it, I'm looking at it the whole time. Like, yeah, this is this is actually not even that's gibberish. She might have got like one or two signs. But other than that, bro, she she didn't she probably got something by by accident. It was, it was super funny the first time I seen it. I actually seen another clip, one where the actually where the news reporters were talking about her. And this was just the, the raw footage of her doing it without the news reporters talking about her. So it was a little different, but still, uh, still crazy and funny. And one of the questions that they asked was how she even got the job. And that's a very good question. Who hired her? Who hired this lady, bro? I'm thirsty. Who hired her, man? How did she get this job? Like, what what system did she have to go through to get hired? Because if you mean to tell me somebody that don't actually know how to sign got a job for, like, you know, these type of cloths got one, then somebody's doing something wrong, bro. 
you should not be able to get a job do like in this arena without getting validated, bro. How is that possible? But I don't know how it was possible to get her in, but she's in. Now, like, I believe anything is possible now. Now, I'm going to go win and uh, be a congressman. So I don't, the joke didn't land. It was terrible. Anyways, thank you guys for watching another episode of uh, Eddie TV Reactions. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any video that you want me to react to, make sure you drop it with the link. Also, follow me on Instagram <clears throat> at Eddie TV. Instagram at Eddie TV. And yeah, that's it. So let's keep it rocking. Let's keep it popping. Till next episode, Eddie TV. Bye.